Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, Tyler here, and I am going to be playing Tormented Souls, which is supposed to be like a Resident Evil, classic Resident Evil style game. It looks really good so far. Why is that doorbell so loud? Letter for me. Oh. I never receive letters. Jesus, I turned the volumes down. Yeah. Oh, John Doe from the hospital of Wild <laughs> Wild Burger Hospital, Winter Lake, Canada. To Bada Bada. Yep. I can open it now. Oh, it's a picture of me and a child. You think you can just simply abandon us here? I do. I do believe that. Yeah. Ah. Images are sharp. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. classic hospitals you know when you walk in and they hit you over the head with like a, a lead pipe or something every time okay we woke up in the in that bathtub there I am going to have to edit that part out because it was it was very indecent um, but yeah uh, we woke up in the bathtub, and then we put our clothes back on, and now we're here. Uh, wash your hands, please. So, clearly, clearly they understand safety. Uh, why was I connected to the respirator? That's what that was? That was a... Uh... Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like how it has that weird vibrating thing. Respirators and oscilloscopes? What do they do to me? Quit doing that. I don't like that noise. They, they made the character move just like just in the uncanny valley so all of the movements I do not like them like one bit mm -hmm. 
Where am I? Uh, oh, oh, eh, uh, hang, mm. I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore. All this time I have refused to let hope grow inside my chest. But now that Maria is pregnant again, I'm going to believe again for Maria, for those little souls, for me. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened. When I checked my watch to find the exact time at which my first baby, Emma, was born, as I opened the lid, the glass cracked, and the hands shattered, utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it, that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. I guess that's, I guess that's pretty sweet. Can we look at the birth certificate? Uh... No. I guess I'm done reading. God, don't quit. Quit doing that. I hate that noise. I don't even know if it's going to show up like in the audio because it, it's just, it vibrates the headset. And so I don't know how it's going to sound, but I hate it. Uh, I don't have an item. I can open this and steal though. There's a latch on the crown. Oh, there's words on the back. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. They were kicked out of heaven. Click. An old photograph of two twins. Ah, da 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 da. Ah, that just closes it back. Okay. Um, anything else in here? Five, two, eight, one. Okay, couldn't I just like reach my hand around? Okay. Um, do not, sh it'll let me read it. Do not let shadows embrace you. What does that mean? It's a good question. Doorhop is missing. <laughs> really, the costume doesn't fit on the on the doorknob. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Uh, let's see, an instructional sheet. Quit spinning. Ah, oh, son of a. Okay. 360 degree tank. Every ASD shift is run, space is inventory. Okay. Is that what I'm wearing? Yeah. So I have to find a doorknob, I guess. Uh, I already forgot how to run. It was shift. Like it is in every video game, it is shift. I think I need to be finding a code. Um, all right, I guess it's what time is it on here? Fucking damn it. Twelve oh seven. Is that not right? Twelve. No, of course that's not right, because that's not how time works. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not how time works at all. That's twelve thirty-five. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, didn't you guys know that an hour only has one through nine? That's not how watches work. Didn't you guys know an hour only has one through twelve? Obviously. Uh, I mean, I don't think I really need to inspect the padlock. Wrench. Cool. Okay, that I should actually be able to get out of here now. That's not run. <laughs> My favorite kind of doorknob. A pipe wrench. Okay, is this a hallway? Yep. I don't like how dark it is in that hallway. Look, this isn't even scary. I'm not scared. All of the lights in my room are on. And the window is open. That way, I know it's daytime. This is fucking awful. It's a really cool lighter, though. I just meant the doll. I hate dolls. They're, the fu they're so fucking awful. Uh, in the- nope. Resources? Equip. Look, you can't scare me. I know how fire works. Oh god, this- <laughs> I don't know why I feel so anxious. I'm so uneasy. Oh god. Oh god. You didn't get me. You think it's- you think a little paintings? A little- a little fallen stuff is gonna scare me? Nails can be used with a nailer. I don't have a nailer. Nope, I'm not I'm not a little baby. A vending machine, it's out of order. What if I want my maximum lemon soda? I want it now. I know I can run, but I'm just Oh fuck you doll, I hate you. Oh man. Examination room. I don't do I have to be here? Can I go? A pile of morphine treats minor injuries. Oh, that's a person. Or what's left of a person. Uh Nope, that's still not run. Yeah, let's let's do some light reading. Medical books, nothing useful. All the medical nerds would disagree. Can I have this organ? Uh, oh, it's a plastic heart. Okay, cool. I thought it was just like, you found half a real heart. Uh, oh, I can open the old files, nothing of interest. That's a window. Does this have fuel? I would have liked it to have told me that before. I don't dare lift the sheet. Just lift the sheet. Quit being such a baby. I say as I book it out of this awful, awful room. I realize that E is also in Iraq, so I don't even have to use the mouse. Do I have to go back for the wrench? No, because then I'd be stuck at the door. Because I have... It's locked. It appears to open electronically. Because I have a weird feeling that she doesn't understand how... I forgot I can't move away from the microphone. She doesn't understand how doors work. She doesn't understand that you don't need to, uh, you could just leave it open. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismut tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore, dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belong to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that they were all twins buried together. Yeah, that's pretty weird. A weird painting. I came from this way, right? Yeah, let's try... 
Let's try keeping down this way. Before I try to go and solve any puzzles. It appears to open electronically. Yeah, well, if you want to keep being mean to me, I'll just leave. I don't like this. The Holy Diver? Did you perhaps spend too long in the Midnight Sea? Anyway, uh, a map. Can I have it? Uh, where am I? You're there. How does this map know which doors are locked? I mean, it's a pretty smart map. I gotta give it to it. Uh, I guess I just can't have it. This is a door. Is it also... Hang on, I see a book. Uh, ooh, that's scary. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin. <laughs> okay, that's one way to start a journal entry. My fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's... Whoa... William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William never looked at my father in the same way again. Well, obviously. 1963. What year is it right now? That's not run still. Oh, it's a map that I can have. Okay, so this is where I am. I'm in this little hallway. I will eventually learn how to run. Uh, ooh. Judith beheading. Hole, hole of Furnace. Painted by Caravaggio in 1602. It depicts Judith's beheading. This, oh, it depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general. The Syrian general... Hall of Furnace, in his tent after charming him. The recreation of Caravaggio's work is outstanding, and almost looks like the original. Why are you so educated of art? Thank god, I didn't want to go to the fucking dentist's room. This is really good, though. Heart attack. It sounded like I was trying to, like, sick it on somebody. Heart, I choose you. Form of defense. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, that was squeaky. Uh, a hex in socket. It's missing handle. Okay, so that's how I'm going to get into the, uh, the fenced area. A patient report. Dr. William Wildberger. I wish that were my last name. Honestly, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would ad advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away. Uh, are these dated? Yeah, they're, they're dated the same day. The patient passed away 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? I was really hoping that would be locked. Ah, oh, duh, duh, nope. <laughs> after, after that set in. And I wasn't scared anymore. Just how funny that was. Did he make it up those stairs? Honestly, that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Can I have a weapon, please? Can I have a weapon, please, now? <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on here? It's fucking right. It's fucking right. It's a door. Was it a door? 
Oh, please catch up to me. Okay, honestly, I like that. That's that's pretty good. I think more people should put gas masks on old Renaissance paintings. Fuck you. Fuck you, I will run. But only back and forth. I don't want to run into a new area. Uh, it's locked from the other sign. Thank God. Because I realized that that sign said morgue. And I have no interest. No smoking. Ah, bad. Bad, bad. I thought he got confused and then like bugged out or something. Ah, get in here. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. I don't like you. You can't just you can't just be reading Latin over a dead body and then be like, "Yeah, no, I'm a pretty good guy. I have never killed a man before in my life." That's you can't you can't say those two things in a sentence. Um, resources, equip. You live for today. How do I save the game? Uh, right click, double click, uh, aim and shift to fall down. That is space. Why am I an idiot? Okay. I assume this is going to be a fairly safe room. Other than when I go down that hallway. Some more nails. Oh my god. I'll get it right. 
I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. I was hoping to... I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. That sounds terrifying. That's terrible. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. Oh, hell yeah, crowbar. I'm gonna use this so good. I'm gonna crowbar so many things. How do I save the game? What was that? Okay, so I guess just standing in the dark for too long makes you go crazy. You know, classic things. January 1st, 1967. William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital lo is located would be best for us, that it would allow us to spend more time together these days. However, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again. His eyes opened wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His eyes faltered when he spoke. We are going to have a baby, he said. I felt sick. See, I don't think he should know that before she does. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could, not find, we could not find sleep until early morning. Oh, can I go to... Oh, I see how things work now. Oh my god. Is that the priests doing? Oh, how am I doing? Oh, okay, I'm fine. Mr. Knives for Hands won't get me yet. The generator room. Finally, I can generate nails. God, I hate the dark. I hate, I hate this. With a passion, a large one. There's an electric, there's, oh, shit. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. That's good, because I can read. Gas natural. Hit it with the crowbar. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think. Wait, what is that other thing in my inventory? Oh, health. Um. Let's just keep wandering around. I can't go here. I'm not wearing a hard hat. I have to leave. Uh, map of the area. A pick upable map of the area. That's what I was wanting. What is. Oh, is this just the handle? Yeah. Okay. 10 kilograms. Does it need to be at 11? 
Is that where I'm messing it up? Because, like, it's not making any sense. Okay, we'll try it at 11, because it does drop down one whenever you press the button. So maybe if I set it to 11, it'll start up. Okay, that just turns it off. Okay, awesome. We have a working generator now. Let's see what's going on in here now, now that the power's back on. You may find what you're looking for in the... How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main... Thank you. Like, I assume, like, saving the game was kind of, like, cut off until you got the power on or something? Yep. It's not plugged in. Plug it in. What? Dog. I just want to save my gate. Ah, uh, ah, uh, weapon, 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 weapon. You're allowed to be dead now. Okay, now that we have killed somebody. Okay, so that's the generator room. It was probably going to be locked if I tried to open it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out, or no, the morgue was locked from the other side, yeah, okay. Those skirt physics are gonna get me fucking removed. Get out of the darkness. Fuck, man. I don't remember what was in the dark, but it's best if we just don't go back into it. I don't remember what was over there. It was like a statue or something, right? Uh, there was nothing over there. So this is radiology, I guess. This one was locked. From okay. Handle will butch. There are symbols above the keyhole. <laughs> that is weird. Like, that's the only. Does this one have weird symbols also? No, I wish it did. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Lucas Huston, ev evening shift, electrical maintenance, 1445. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Okay, so I gotta just touch the flickering light bulb. Can I, can I, thank you. Thank God, that's a doable thing. Cause I think they took that out in five.
What does it attach to? Oh. <sighs> I would have really liked that to have done nothing. I would have super definitely preferred he just told me to fuck off. Okay. Oh, oh, I know where to save the game. I know how to save the game. Oh, it sure as hell isn't here. Break it, break the mirror. I could light this candle. That's health. Snuff out the flame. Snuff out the candle. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Why did I re-interact with it? Get out of the mirror. Go back in the mirror. Get out. Why am I doing this to myself? Back in the mirror, back in the mirror, back in the mirror. I am safe on this side. Let's go save the game. Let's go, let's go find that tape recorder and not have to do this ever again, ever, ever again. Oh, please be down the hallway I'm not walking down. Was it the restroom that had the the save game thing in it? It's looking like it was not. Uh, so I guess... Where was that? Where did I see that at? Keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. wasn't here. Man, where was that at? This was locked, wasn't it? No. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. It was here. It was in here. Yes, okay. Use. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burker Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine. 
and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Uh, yes. Actually, you are. Progress saved. Cool. Did I... And I took it off, but no, I don't get to keep it. Okay. Uh, okay. The game has been saved. I would like to... Now, thank you guys for... Uh, I, I thought it was gone. It scared me. But I would now like to thank you guys for watching the video. I will uh, I'll see you in the next game. Or in the next episode. Or whatever I do. Uh, data has been saved. So yes, I would like to exit. Thank you.